Welcome to Grace for All, a daily devotional podcast produced by the Congregation of First United Methodist Church in Maryville, Tennessee. Thank you for joining us today. The Hope of the Light So we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen. For what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 18 As I was thinking about hope and the Advent season, this verse from 2 Corinthians stuck with me. In our busy lives, particularly during the holiday season, it is quite easy to focus only on what is seen. Our present activities, circumstances, joys and pains often consume our thoughts as well as our lives. If we allow ourselves to step away from our busy lives and spend some time with God, we realize that while what we see may be chaotic, disappointing, or tragic, what is unseen remains constant and hope-filled. Archbishop Desmond Tutu said, Hope is being able to see that there is light despite all the darkness. Isn't that what Christmas is all about? God sent Christ to be the light in our darkness. My wish for all of us is that Christ's light will shine for you this Advent season. Let us pray. Lord, open our eyes to the unseen. When we become preoccupied with the temporary, busy rush of the season, turn our attention and fix our hearts on things eternal, that we may find hope and rest in you. Amen. Today's devotion was written by Katherine King and read by Amy Large. I'm Jonathan Jonas, the senior pastor of First United Methodist Church in Maryville, Tennessee, and you've been listening to our congregation's Grace for All podcast. I'm so grateful for the lay members of our congregation who write, edit, and produce this podcast. To learn more about our congregation and its ministries, or to participate in our streaming worship services this weekend, please visit our website at firstchurch.org. That's the number one, S-T-C-H-U-R-C-H dot O-R-G. Until the next episode, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God our Father, and the presence of God's Holy Spirit be with you.